on me. Hello, there there we go. Go. <laughs> hi everyone. It is that time of the year, the end of a year where we get together and discuss the games that have been released 2014. What's up, guys? I'm Chief Bomb Maud Garrett, and I've got so many bombers on the panel <laughs> with me today. We'll kick hey. things off. Uh, We've got our resident Nintendo gal who loves all things Zelda. It is Shona. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Oh, super good. Uh, all the way from Brisbane, he is the resident maths and science science teacher. I was going to say science yeah. fiction teacher. No, science <laughs> first, first, math second. Science is the best subject. Uh, who also spends a lot of time gaming and drinking, which is what we all <laughs> like to do. It is Nate. Hello. Hello, hello. How are we? Well, what are you drinking today? Oh, huh? Nothing. Fantastic. No, no, no worries. <laughs> Just having a follow-up conversation and then got successfully ignored. Um, she is hailing from Los Angeles as well, and she spends a lot of time twitching herself playing World of Warcraft. I She's do. wearing Batman on her tits, which means you have bat tits. It is Maddie, a.k.a. Ziana. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, nice and excited. excited. <laughs> and he calls himself Westy, but I refuse to acknowledge that and will forevermore. His name is Brad coming in <laughs> from, I want to say, the coast of New South Wales. How's it all going there? Uh, it's all right. It's a bit rainy. Looks like it's going to oh. rain, so. Mm. How's your puppy dog? My dog's awesome. He turned one the other day. I so. know. You had, like, cake or something. We, yeah, we had ice cream, and he wore a little hat, and it was pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> so cute. Oh, mate, you're beyond gonna... adorable. <laughs> Super cat. We're going to chat about all the games that we liked this year. We've all got our top three. I want to know from you guys what your top three games are and why. And you can either comment below on YouTube or hit up Twitter and at Geek Bombshells. Have a chat with us that way because I've got the comment stream running all the way through. A lot of you guys voting. I think votes are officially closed. Taz is counting them right now, so we will have a winner. We're going to tally those votes while we have a chat about ours. Uh, let's have a listen to some of the uh, comments that we've got kicking off already. We've got the bumbling idiot saying, do my happy dance, and then he obviously put a gif of Alicia and I doing our happy dance. Which is <laughs> um, some people are saying, like Shane is saying that he likes Super Smash Brothers on the Wii. That's his number one game. There you go. Mm. Awesome um, game. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of different ones here. Um, and a lot of people saying Dragon Age has to win. So is that <laughs> the case? Yes. Let's find yeah, out. Right. Right. Well, I haven't well, played it. it. Oh, I, I <laughs> just played it today. <sighs> so we'll, we'll start things off with you, Brad. I want to know from you what your number one, two, and three game was for 2014. All righty. My number, number three. one. No, three. Two. Three straight away. Yeah. All right. Uh, three is Hearthstone, um, Blizzard's card game. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I said it before. I'll say it again. Blizzard is a lot like the Apple of the gaming industry. They take pre-existing ideas and they market yep. them and they do them better. Um, mm -hmm. And Hearthstone's just the same case. It's a simpler take on Magic: The Gathering, kind of, and it's easy to play and it's free to play and it's really addictive. I'm really bad at it, and <laughs> it's, good. it's super, super good, um, and it's ever-expanding that it's released, um, uh, Goblins vs. Gnomes, another expansion, and it's huge. I was watching um, one of my favorite bands play it in, the, in an airport the other day. They were Twitch streaming it. It's, just, it's ah. just a huge game. It's super, super Whoa. good. Uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do with, I'm going to tally our points up as well and see what Geek Bomb's best game is and then what the Bomber's prize is as well, which is a viewer's choice. So for your number three game, you get one point. For your number two game, two points. Your number one game, three points. Makes sense. Awesome. Next game, Brad. Alright, uh, my second game is Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, it's been a while since uh, I've played a first-person shooter that wasn't trying to be another first-person shooter like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Um, mm -hmm. Wolfenstein knew exactly what it was. Uh, Machine Games made it, produced by Bethesda. It was super, super fun. It knew what it was. It was a single-player, over-the-top action game, and it was incredibly good um, and kind of flew under the radar, really. Um, so that's my second choice. Okay. And a number one? My first is Shovel Knight. 
Uh, Shovel Knight is a 2D side scroller, RPG, and awesome. And it's actually on sale today on Steam, so if you haven't played it before, pick it up. It's 10 bucks. It's awesome. It's a sa- um, it's that old school though. Yeah, it's it's old school. Yeah, yeah. So it's not going to be like it's not graphically the best game you ever played, but aesthetically it's it's gorgeous and um, it's really 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 in depth and it's really long and there's heaps of varying enemy types and sweet boss battles and it's super super nice. You should definitely check that out. Sweet shovel nice. That's going to get three points. Alrighty. I have a feeling that you guys are doing Google chat because I get a ding, ding, ding over and over in my ear, but I'm doing a different... Anyway. Technical oh. issues. Maddie, you're up. <laughs> yes. Top three games. I want to hear them. Okay. So number three for me is going to be Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Um, I really liked it. I always loved Borderlands. Um, I actually played through the um, first one and the second one on Twitch like a few weeks ago before Borderlands pre-sequel came out. Um, I did like it. I was kind of like, oh, it kind of felt like samey to me. It was kind of like in the same like gimmicks, but I was like, oh, I just love the gun so much. I love it so much. I can't help it. And that robot guy was really, really cool. Borderlands, I feel like, it reminds me of a uh, what's that cartoon? You know the Transformers. You know like Dinobots. Do you guys remember? Oh, that? Yeah. For some reason, it reminds oh, me yeah. of like Dinobots and stuff like that. Like that old cartoon, like the graphics and stuff. I don't know. It reminds me of that. Um, but number two, uh, this is a hard one for me because I'm tossing up between two Blizzard games. Yeah, I'm, I'm Blizzard fangirl, which seems like Brad is a bit of a Blizzard fangirl as well. Not just what? me. <laughs> Emphasis on the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But uh, I, yeah, I think number two for me is Hearthstone. Or Hearthstone. Is it Hearthstone or Hearthstone? That's whatever you believe. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I'm like Hearthstone. Okay, yeah, Hearthstone for me. I actually didn't really play it until like this week. I went away um, for Christmas and I had nothing to do. Like, there was no internet. Well, not really very good internet, and I was like, oh, I have Hearthstone on my iPad. Let's just... Oh, we've lost Maud. That's all right. Keep going. I'll just keep going. Why not? Technical difficulties. Isn't that the, da- the song yeah. that she just did? <laughs> the song um, of the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I started playing it, and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just give it a go, like, before Christmas, six hours later. I'm still sitting there like, why is the sun gone down? And why do I have 300 coins? Like, I have zero, and now I have so many. And uh, I'm super addicted to it now, and I'm getting, like, nerd rage about it. Do you guys get nerd rage with things like Hearthstone? Because I do. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I have a signature move in it. Um, Do you Uh, play any of you play Hearthstone? Yes. Yes. Okay, you play Mage deck? Do you play Mage? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know Flame Strike, um, the one that does four damage to all enemies. That's my favorite one to use because I just wait until like you know the seventh round and everyone, you know, they put out like all their minions because like yeah, I got this, I can beat them, and I'm just like, Boop. clear the board. Yeah, Maddie, you actually you Snapchatted that yes. particular move. You'd like to love me. Watch this. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I, and I, honestly. <laughs> I looked at that and I was just like, oh, girl, all oh, day. <laughs> yeah, I, I put it on Instagram if anyone cares to watch it because I'm just like, yeah, I get this sick satisfaction inside. Um, but, okay, uh, first game, though, it's got to be Warlords of Draenor. I think this is um, Blizzard's, or World of Warcraft's, like, best expansion in years, if not their best expansion. Um, with the garrison utility, it's just changed the entire game for like everybody and they made leveling like so much easier for once I didn't have the urge to like use a leveling guide or something when I was you know like trying to get to max level because it was really fun and you know they've I don't know if you guys have played it but there's like a lot of like treasure hunting quests and there's lots of rares and you have your garrison and then when you get to 100 it's like it's just really good so that's my top game for this year. I'm yeah. in love. I love World Lords of Drama. <laughs> Thank God, because you stream it three times a week, so if it wasn't a good game. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. If you guys are thinking about going back to WoW, definitely do. This is the time to do it. All right. So that is uh, all those points have been tallied. We'll move it on. Nate, you're up. 
top three games starting with number three? Oh, starting with number three. Well, mm -hmm. I had a list in my head, and oh, then yeah. I decided to fuck the list because I've just thought <laughs> of like other games. I just have a drop of that <laughs> Oh, come on, we're like 10, 15 minutes in. This is like the longest time we've gone without dropping an F-bomb or any form of swearing. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have to say number three would be Destiny. So Destiny. I've already yeah. posted my review of Destiny. Destiny was a really good game, but like any uh, stimulating drug, it was very uh, <laughs> short-lived and was flushed out of my system pretty quickly. It was a good game and well done for investing a lot of time and resources into the development of this game. Like, there's going to be a lot of content being released, but yeah, oh, it's so repetitive. It's so fun, but yeah. so so repetitive. Uh, I don't know how many hours I've. Got. I think I've got like 150 hours on that game, and I haven't touched it in about a month or two. Look, we played some of that game, and I I was just like stuck in some sort of grinding hole, and I didn't even realize until seven hours later when I was just like, I've done this mission and that mission and that mission nineteen times now. Like, what's the go? And then it was just like there was no. That's not a part of the main story, and it's going to keep sucking you in. So it's not on my list. <laughs> Boiler alert. Yeah, it's, right. it's a very steep learning curve. If I want to grind, game. no. If oh. I want to grind, I'll play Pokemon. That's I thought you were going to say something <laughs> else just then, Maud. I was just waiting. Oh, I'm going to grind, I'm grind <laughs> on you. Woo! So if I was going to grind, go to a club and pick up. It's getting hot in here on a Saturday night. Well, you're wearing a jumper, so of course it's going to get a bit warm. God, Maud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, no, second no. game. Now that we can get back to the topic at hand. Be professional. Okay. <laughs> be. Uh, we, 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 <laughs> I was going to start doing some cheerleading, but I decided against it. Um, mm. My second game has to be uh, a small indie game which came from Australia, and it is uh, Interchained. Um, Interchained. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a really, really good game. Uh, me and my roommate um, get more than slightly inebriated, and we play for hours on end. And... The rage quits that have occurred from that. Oh no! We were considering recording it, um, <laughs> but I don't think I have the time and the patience to go through and beep out every swear word because it's just <laughs> infuriating to no extent. And even thinking about it now is giving me a pretty high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the game um, like? I've never heard of it. The whole yeah, to me. So, so Interchange basically is a, a two-player PC game. Um, done by a group of guys that are down in Sydney. And what it is is that you are in a, a coliseum um, and you are two players. It's a two-player game and you are chained together. Interchained? Oh, because in the coliseums you were there for the entertainment of the royals but you're chained together, so interchained. Oh, okay. I'm looking at it up ah. right now. Now available on Are Steam. you not interchained? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and you've got, like, you've got different hats and you've got different swords, and you've got different shields, so you've got some accessorizing there. Um, and it's really fun. You can trip people over with the chains. You can throw a sword. Um, there are different so waves. So are you fighting together minions. or against each other? You're fighting together. So one of the really good mm -hmm. tactics is when you're potentially running away from some of the harder characters is you run to one side of the Colosseum, and then one goes up and one goes down, and you run through all of them, and you trip them all over. And then when they're down on the ground, you, you got to rock up to them and you got to beat them down while they're, while they're down. So, yeah. I'm looking at Google right now. It's, it's not what I was expecting when I looked at it. If you Google yeah. it, it looks really funny. The graphics are not what I expected at It's all. awesome. It's so, <laughs> it's so much fun. But it's a really, really good way to release stress from uh, teaching. Yeah, it's great. Beating people um, to a pulp. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, number one. Sorry, we took number a lot one. of time on that one. Uh, number one, of course, would have to be Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, <laughs> you can't you can't see it because it's off to the side there, but I got the massive two hundred and twenty dollar chest. Uh, it's so pretty. It's got an ink pot and a feather for writing. 
and it's got a map and it's got all these other little cool things. Um, I have clocked 200 hours on that game in the last month. What? Oh, you're on school holidays. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> it, it sucks because the kids are also on holidays. Um, no. If any of the kids are watching, because I know you watch this, I, I love you all the same. There's no. Favorite. That's that's um, fifty hours a week, though. That's fifty hours a week. That's ten that's hours a day, Monday to Friday. That's we that's all how long I work. That's how long I work. Uh. <laughs> um, but it's an amazing game. Um, the graphics are very similar to that of Dragon Age Two, except for the whole world from like, the, the stupid, they leave you at one world and it was over time type thing, that's what Dragon Age 2 was, whereas yeah. Dragon Age 1 was a more open world, travel different areas, you're going to find different resources and different quests in these different regions. So they have that like Dragon Age 1. Yeah, it's more like 1 when it comes to the setting and the environment. Um, battling is very similar to Dragon Age 2 with a new component. It's almost like a, a cinematic. You click select and you pause and then you can click each of it's your individual characters and tell them to the, do different actions. It's the, ta uh, the tactical strategy formation, which is what they introduced in Dragon Age 2, which I never found that I would use. Um, but it's like uh, kind of like Knights of the Old Republic where you can cycle between the characters that you would control and then you line up what moves you want them to do so that when you unpause it, they've got like the next four chain of command that they can do with it all. Uh, some people like to play that way. I don't. I feel that stop-start motion can just be just really kind of disrupt the gameplay. Uh, yeah, I'm and, the same. Yeah. It's a little OCD as well, which some people absolutely love because you do have full control of everything. But sometimes it's just like, you know what, someone's like, I'm going to die. You're like, ah, get on, potion. Ooh, ha, ah, ooh, zap, bip, bop. I beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I never worry like that because I'm just uh, that too good. Um, <laughs> no, I've stressed so much. Like, I've, I, fought a, I fought a dragon. I fought a dragon ten times and kept on dying and the rage was so real. I'm pretty sure I was breathing fire. But you know that, that tactical cam? The best thing to use that tactical cam for is if you find a new enemy, um, you hover over an enemy and it shows you all of their weaknesses, Stats. their health, their level. It's really good. And I also really like it. I'm a mage, a canary mage, um, and I really like that tactical camera when I'm using a spell like firewall, ice wall, or a mine, or even when I'm using an area of effect spell because you want to make sure that you get all of them and if you're looking mm -hmm. over their shoulder third person it's really hard to get depth and distance with a lot of those area effect spells. That's right, you're a mage. Yeah, I like magic. Harry I Potter know. and I are brothers. <laughs> I've got the glasses somewhere. Alright, so well, I've given that three. three. Um, Shona, you're up. What, what are your top three games? Yeah, so this year I didn't actually play a lot of new release games. Um, I played a lot of old stuff and then I got addicted to Dota for a while. Um, yeah. So the only new things I played were actually uh, Nintendo releases. So I'm going to be on Nintendo today. Um, so my number three is Mario Kart 8. Um, mm. So nice. yeah, Nintendo have re-released re you know, new um, installments in some of their popular franchises. So Mario Kart 8 is a lot of fun. Um, so back in June at E3, I took my Wii U over to Los Angeles and we set it up in the hotel room. And then all my friends and I you know, would play it so much. And then on the last night, we were actually at a party. And then after a while, we're like, I really want to go back to the room and play Mario Kart. And so we just got like food and drinks and then we had like, I don't know, 12 people crammed into our little hotel room and we're oh all just playing God. Mario Kart, which was so much fun. No. So, yeah. <laughs> who do you, who do you play that. as? <laughs> Hang on, I think there's a little bit of lag or delay going on now. Um, I didn't oh, quite timing. hear that. Who do you yeah. play as in Mario Kart? Um, I actually don't have like a specific character. Um, I like playing the silly ones like Waluigi or some of the Koopa kids or the enemies. Um, although I've been playing Luigi because of the death stare, um, because that was. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so every time we watch the replays or the highlights, I'm like looking out for the death stare. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, that's great! Did you see the guy who cosplayed as Luigi? Oh, He's been driving around yes. the con in a cart, just and he was throwing, throwing the it. shell. Yeah, yeah, that was epic. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> goes my hero. So that's number three. What's number two? Okay, number two for me is Hyrule Warriors. So mm -hmm. it's not actually a Zelda game. What it is is a spin-off, um, which is like Dynasty Warriors. If any of you have played that. Um, which is basically just a hack and slash game, but this is with Zelda characters. Um, mm -hmm. And I was, a, I didn't really have huge expectations for it. I mean, of course I was going to get it because it's Zelda, but actually mm -hmm. I had so much fun with it. Um, the story, you know, it's it's a bit silly. It's a bit more like fanfic or something, but <laughs> I just, yeah, I had heaps of fun with it. Um, and the, apart from the main story, you've got like the adventure mode and all of that, and there's so much to do. Like, I still have heaps of it that I haven't completed yet. Um, so, yeah, I just enjoyed that one way more than I thought I would. And it's really yeah. pretty, too. Like, the cutscenes were really cool. And I'm like, I want to see this in a Zelda game. I don't just want to like, link in that looking with, like, derpy expressions, like, oh, Ganon's got the princess. It's like, no, let's fight and run into action and, you know, have a battle. And <laughs> it was, yeah, really cool. Sweet. So, yeah, that's my number two. And my number one, number one. is... Another classic franchise, Super Smash Brothers. So they actually, yeah, Accepted. They released two versions of um, this, and I probably can't really pick between um, the two. There's a 3DS version and a Wii U version. Now, originally, I was thinking, oh, the 3DS, like, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as, like, a console version. And I was even thinking about not bothering getting the 3DS until they delayed the Wii U version. And I got it, and wow, there is so much packed into the tiny little console. Um, it's bigger than any of the previous franchises. There's plenty of stuff, um, you know, just for single player. And playing, like, um, online is a bit laggy, but certainly playing with just people around you over Wi-Fi, it works really well. Um, but I do slightly prefer the um, Wii U version. Um, I just It's more fun on a TV. I don't know, like, it's more like you sort of have more of a party vibe going on, and you've got eight players Smash now. The online is better than it was in Brawl, um, which was the previous version of the Wii, but it's, I still had a few issues with it getting kicked out of games and just disconnected randomly, but, yeah, I've just had so much fun with that game. Um, it's just, Smash Brothers just gets bigger and bigger every time they release an instalment, so that's pretty much all I'm playing at the moment. Now, Shona, do you, are you the kind of person like me where I will play round after round on every character in every condition to know which the best player is? Have you done it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll make little rules and like go through them in order or have little patterns going on and definitely. So according to you, who's the best? Oh, it's too early to say. It's too early. There's still mm. there's a few a few that I'm playing all right as, um, but. Yeah, I couldn't pick just one yet. I'm still there's like 48 fighters in this game. Um, it's crazy. 48. I, I like. I'm yeah. What's that, Brad? I like uh, Sheik. Sheik and Zero Suit Samus are like really, really good. Like they're high tier characters. Um, yeah. Like me, me and me and a couple of buddies we play some Smash. So. Um, like yeah, we'll do. play the characters, like the characters, mm -hmm. and then um, we'll like get competitive and we'll play like uh, so I pick Sheik and then it, the game just goes from not like fun to not fun and competitive mm -hmm. like I have to win Sheik or Zero Suit Samus you pick those characters and you whoop people yeah they're pretty good yeah and then I I don't know I make up all these weird house rules so like I like playing a Shulk but in the version where he's just wearing like briefs because it's just fun <laughs> watching him run around half naked, yeah. like, and um, I, I like playing as the Wii Fit trainer. <laughs> I like playing as the Wii Fit trainer just because it looks so out of place, but it's actually a pretty decent fighter. So yeah. I don't know. I just make up. I have certain outfits that I like on certain characters and things too. So I don't know. It's just so much you can do with Smash Brothers. I love it. So there's a um, fan fiction zero 2.0 happening here with Shulk and the underwear? 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not the you right. <laughs> <laughs> I may be teasing something that could be happening later in the show. Before I reveal my top three, I just want to go over some of the ones that you are saying. Um, I've got Twitter out here. Oh, there is some noise happening. Maddie, are you trashing the joint? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Someone else in my house is feeding the dog. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. That'd be it. That'd be it. <gasps> Who's the doggy? Who's the doggy? Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's sleeping on the couch. Although I'll bring him over uh, if he comes around. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone so, just start uh, screaming and wake him up. He's sleeping on the couch have... right now. He just he just crawled on while Shona was like mid speech, and I was like, oh, I can't you can't <laughs> chastise him because Shona's talking. <laughs> Uh, we've got Captain Tightpants who has tweeted in, and guys, if you've voted or have a favourite game, do tweet us at Geek Bombshells. Uh, they've said my game of the year was Pokemon, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Worst game, though, was Halo Master Chief Collection. So many issues. Hmm. I think that's hmm. a good thing. Well, I mean, I mean, I think it's kind of interesting that Master Chief isn't the best out there, and in fact it got worst game. Um, we are going to be doing um, a round of what the games we thought were the most disappointing. Yeah. So I would love to hear from you guys as well. At Geek Bombshells, tweet in right now, the most disappointing game of 2014. While I've got uh, the, the iPad out, some of the other bombers that couldn't make it, like Tara and um, Tegan, who couldn't make it, and, and Lee, Lee who's uh, tweeting actually, so if you want to have a chat with Lee, she's on Twitter, um, got everyone's number one, two, and three. So, <laughs> Tegan has just said one, and that is Dragon Age Inquisition. It says it's the only game that you need, so that's getting three points. One, two, three. I'm so sad I didn't play that. <laughs> it's I'm not gonna... that good. <laughs> it's you don't good, reckon? Like, no, I really, I really don't think it's worth the game of the year. It's, it's, it's all right, Brad. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. It's okay. Don't worry. That's all right. You did not shovel that once. I saw Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight does nothing to me for some reason. I think it brings Shovel back Knight that fear. Of, but you know, like those arcade games where you can't respawn, you have three lives, and then when you yeah. reuse them up, that's it. And there's like those save yeah. points where it's like there are no checkpoints, so it's as far as you can get. That makes me so anxious. Like Earthworm <laughs> Jim. I have nightmares about that game because you just. Anyway. Um, Lee's at the moment is. Uh, I just think she's going to jump on. We'll see if she can come on online just for a second. But I'm telling you right now that Dragon Age Inquisition is in there. <laughs> let's, invite, let's invite Lee in, see if she's up for it. Um, but then we've got Tara, Taz's. Taz in number three is Murdered Soul Suspect. Now she's like, hold up, wait a second. I'm a sucker for a strong linear story. The game was simple, immersive, and satisfied my mystery craving. Uh, coming in at number two... So I've got to do that. Wolf and stuff. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Mystery Soul. One. Number two Ooh. is Infamous Second Son. It was the first PlayStation 4 game that she played. Oh, it was the first one she played. It was the first PlayStation game that she ever platinum trophied. It felt like a classic PlayStation 1 slash 2 style game, but with great graphics. Love the stories. Love the characters. Infamous. It's two points. And number one. Oh, wait, this is a third. I got them all the wrong way around. Dragon Age Inquisition. She said she hasn't played nearly enough time on it, but what she's seen, she likes. So, Murdered Soul Suspect got three points. Oh, that's another one that flew under the radar for a lot of people. I'm happy. Uh, Lee is not coming in. Actually, let me just try another thing. Um, while we're doing this, oh, here we are. Jason Haddon has said most disappointing game was Assassin's Creed Unity. Good game overall, but so many problems ruined mm. it. Yes. I was laughing so hard at the face-off bugs. Like, I just couldn't <laughs> stop. I just looked at the well, screenshot after the screenshot. Yeah. Uh, it's like Molly great. Grubs all over again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Molly Grubbs scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I actually, <laughs> yeah. I actually just saw a um one for FIFA 14, and there is a glitch where 
the guy standing up, and there's another guy scissoring his face, basically. Oh. Yeah. Great just, in your spare time. Just plank, planking in an unfortunate position on top of his head. You know what, though? <laughs> Let's be perfectly honest. That's probably the most exciting thing that's ever happened to FIFA. Hey. Hey. And I'm hearing All a right. resounding, like, no one's um, mentioning any sports games as well. I would. Hey, Lee. Was also a good one. Oh, she's in. Yeah. <laughs> I was just sending you that link, which is why I was talking so slowly. All right, Lee, you're up. Top three games from three to one. What are they? Oh, we can't hear you. Oh, Lee. There you go. Everyone else, mute yourself. Lee, you're up. Lee, talk. There's no volume. We can't hear you. But there's a cute dog right now. Yeah, you might have to exit and come back in. Google Hangouts is a bit weird sometimes. Thanks uh, for that input, Lee. That was good. That was top notch. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with her number two. No. No. Hold on. No, no. I really want to see you act this out. What's your What's your number three? Show us. Okay, how many words? Time it. This is going to be almost like charades. Okay. Seriously. Yeah, charades. Okay. Yeah. What's number how three? Words? How many words? How many words? <laughs> No, you can't argue because oh. we can't hear you. Just do it. No. She's still talking. Can I'm just going to type it in it? chat. I think I think she said shovel night. I think she said shovel night for one. Well done. Uh, okay, she said I don't know, I don't what's, know going what's going on. <laughs> Play. We want you to act it out. Mime it. Shrine. She's just got the giggles She's being shy. Do it. I believe in you. Believe in the power of the card. Wait. Act out oh, number the three. The of the card. The heart of the card. I knew, how many, I how knew many that words? would piss you off so much. Hold up. How many words is it? Let's guess. <laughs> I'd go. Is it like Assassin's Creed? Far Cry. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 I actually really liked I really liked that game. I thought it could have been. Yeah, I thought that was a really um, good idea. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so I'll go through my top three. If anyone's got any questions, don't forget you can submit them. Oh my god, there are a bunch coming through. Woohoo! So many. James, you're very vocal on there. Um, so I'm going to quickly do my top three. If you agree with me, let me know. Comment and tweet also. Um, and I want to hear your most disappointing game as well while we think of those. So really quickly, my game at number three, no one's done any mobile games, which I think is a little bit slack, but every now I'm and then... Kind of mobile <laughs> Lee just tweeted going, I can't tell if you're serious or trolling. <laughs> <laughs> We're serious. <laughs> She's back. Flowing. We would be the best actors ever. I know. Okay. Have we I are you there? Go. No. 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 no deal. No deal. What? <laughs> We're not trolling. No troll. Hashtag no troll. We're seriously not trolling. You have to mime not it, Lee. We know you can hear us. Very close. What's your number Wait, three? What? Oh, my God, Nate. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh, Lee, talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee, you have to act out your number three. Can you hear us? We, I think she can. No, I can't hear you. Your lips move. Okay, oh, so you have that? to show us what it is. Okay. Oh. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Your number three game is... Oh, you could write it. Oh, you Green. can write it. That's way less fun. Can we play Green. Hangman? Green Lantern. Green Lantern, the movie. Green. No. Um, uh, uh, post it, no warrior. Post it, no warrior. Oh, like Drug it. lords. Grand Theft Auto. Yes. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> That's all I got from Green. <laughs> that sounds about right, doesn't it? Number three game, which is getting one point. Ink, pen, scribble noughts. Yes. Sorry. 
<laughs> Scribblenauts was a good game, right, by the way. Running in yeah. It was gentlemanly, good. gentlemanly Red Raptor was the best one. That would have been oh so God. easy to mime. After, after all <laughs> that. <laughs> all she did the game was, meh. The game's this year. Meh. Yeah. Oh, mate. That was infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> the first documented okay. case of spontaneous combustion is about to occur. Mm. <sighs> uh, all right. Well, while she writes out hers, I'm going to quickly just go through my three. Oh, oh no! Wait, wait. Oh. Number three pretty. is destiny, but it's pretty repetitive. Agree. Mm. Agree. All right, destiny. Destiny. What's your number two? Oh my god, that was like the same as me. But so. she's just copying you, okay? Isn't copying like the highest form of flattery or something like that, right? Mimicry, Imitation. I think so. Oh, number two. Here we go. Miming this that... would have been so much funnier. Oh, we got oh, an unpopular opinion. opinion for number two. Oh, it's going to be Assassin's Creed oh. Unity. I got five bucks on it. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I just know. Is she just... typing out the whole, writing out a whole Assassin's Creed issue for AC Unity? Yeah. I like Ask Creed. Ask Creed. I it. Oh, Ask Creed. Oh, I got Assassin's Creed Unity. Pretty but mess story. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything is so pretty. Everything is awesome. I'm so pretty and witty and gay. Right? One of the. Uh, there's nothing more pretty than being able to see the backside of someone's eyeball. It's great. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, standing 30 frames a second. Woo! Oh, yeah. And the number one game that Lee has decided for 24 years. Yeah! Yeah. Hey, Dragon Age. <laughs> yeah, off you go, Brad. Drop the mic, walk off stage. Get oh, out of here. Out. Get out of here. All right, Lee, thank you. Thanks for sharing your top three. Sorry that it had to be mute, uh, but we'll get you back on. on. <laughs> but it was good to see your pretty face. And by the way, everyone jump on to the Twitter because Lee's um, character design for Dragon Age Inquisition I was about to say that. looks exactly like her. It's freaky. Yeah. It's freaky deaky. It looks exactly like her. It's scary. <laughs> I want her to design my character when I do it. Mine looks exactly like me as well. I'm this massive canary mage with stubble and horns. Just, <laughs> just look at him. Just top notch. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll do mine really, really quickly. Coming in at number three, it's a mobile game. No one really kind of gravitated towards any mobile games, but this is one that I played, loved, and recommended, and people that I've recommended it to have thanked me for it. Mm. It's a little ditty. I like to call threes. So obviously it's just a simple kind of matching app where you've got yeah. to, you've got cards with the numbers and you combine them and it adds the number together to create another number. And the trick is to add as many as you can to make the highest number, but you can't go bonkers. You have to be able to play, play it together. Oh wow! It's say so then. That's fantastic. That game's awesome. I yeah, I have a favorite mobile game as well, but I only just discovered it, and I don't know if you would call it a real game. But have you guys played Heads Up? You know Ellen DeGeneres. Oh yeah, yeah. One. Yeah, yeah. I am only discovered it like last week, and uh, I've played it like eighty thousand times. Even on Christmas, uh, we tried to play it with like old people. They didn't find it as fun. Old people don't find it as fun <laughs> as young people. But, oh, my God, that's my favourite. So you're not the only one who likes mobile games. There you go. You're not alone. Oh, my God. That game, I introduced it to my family um, on our Christmas break in Hawaii. Aww. I got really competitive. And I was like, oh, again, yeah. again. And they're like, yeah. we've got to go to bed. Again, again. What's your favourite category? Uh, I the one I go best in, video games. But I love Act It Out. Yeah, Act It Out. No, I think the hardest one is, like, the singing one. Because you can't sing it, you have to hum it, and so you're just sitting there like, what? <laughs> Every yeah. single time. That's always the shittiest one. Sorry, Maud, back to you. <laughs> Threes, is getting, Threes is getting just one, but Heads Up came out last year. There's the little the True. Fun effect of the day for that one. Uh, so Threes, coming in at number two for me is Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, I... I I literally bought it today, so uh, I have to vent. 
I wanted to cover oh, this no. game really, really yeah. badly. I played all of Dragon Age 1 and all of Dragon Age 2. I poured my soul into it. I tried to romance every single one out there. Like, I was the Dragon Age shit. But I loved, I loved, 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 loved the game. Oh, I'm a big RPG girl. So hmm. I hit up EA and I was like, listen, I really want to cover this. I want to do a really cool video um, a video review, so I break it all down and I play it and I finish it, etc., etc. Oh my god, right? Yes, Maddie just uh, commented saying Alistair in Dragon Age Origins. He was my man. He's a little bit soft around the edges for a warden, but I don't even yeah. care. He was everything to me. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I actually oh my god, Alistair. The, uh, the, the guide on how to romance Alistair and how to make him end up as your husband. I had to. I looked at the guide so that I could make him. <laughs> oh, that's how obsessed with Alistair I was. <laughs> So I an Anders, on. which is who I got stuck with in the second one. Uh, I wasn't I was waiting, it. Alistair. I was just flirting with him. That's all I did. No, and then kept I was, leash. The, the spoilers, this is a spoiler if you've never played Dragon Age 1, but like at the end there's a particular character that comes to you and it's like, oh, if you sleep with me, there's two things. I'll have like the Antichrist, or I was like, yeah, I'll sleep with you. I like, did it. No, I was like, did it. But the upsetting part about this story is that the game never arrived. So EA Australia hit up the team over here and said, listen, we've got someone that wants to review it. Can you send them a copy? After two weeks and five days, about four, four hours and two minutes, I emailed oh. back going, hey, I, really, like, I was just chasing this up. They said, oh, so sorry, absolutely, we'll, we'll get onto it. It never happened, and I submitted my top three games for the hot hits, and I couldn't have Dragon Age on it because I didn't play it. So knowing that this was happening Aww. tonight, mm -hmm. I raced to the store and got it today, and I've been playing it all day, hence the comfortable hoodie. And I can safely mm. say that this game, like, yeah, it's my, it's so my jam. I love this kind of stuff. I love having a team. It's better than Skyrim. Stead it. Oh, I, I, find, I find Skyrim to be quite a, like, like that air of solitude is really kind of disheartening, but having mm. your team there and everyone's got the special skills, it's a lot like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm really, I'm having a, bit, uh, a lot of fun with that, but I'm still quite new into the game, but it's, that's why it's only getting my number two spot and not my number one spot. Because my number one spot, and I'm really upset that no one's had it on their list, is Shadows of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor, uh, is Shadow of uh, S or not? I is that, what? Why did everyone just, eh? Uh, because we're just like, of course, because your name is in the title, yeah. Mord. Come on. Yeah, so Justice is aside, <laughs> I'm just simply not biased. looking for Mordor. We understand that. But I actually <laughs> found that the Nemesis system was more rewarding than anything else that I've seen. I think that this was something new. This is revolutionary type of gameplay, which in this day and age is so rare. It's not a sequel. It's standalone. Brad, what are you doing with your face there, buddy? I, I want to have a point. I have a point so hard about Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a really hard no, point. No. <laughs> oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. It's like the number system is super, super good, but it's like for me, it was like the only thing the game had. Like beyond that, I was like, the story. I was like, eh. Oh and then, like, shit. Yeah. I disagree. Oh. oh my god, the way that you could use and upgrade your weapons was so rewarding for me. And I usually hate uh, aiming and shooting. I'm usually just a hack and slash. But the way that you use the bow with like that shoom, the slow down kind of eagle eye, I loved it. so so much and like getting those side quests and just doing headshots like I'm, I haven't been happier playing a game this year um, and I just found like it gave you so much initially that the, the main storyline you felt like you were cheating you wanted to explore so much and unlock so much and just getting that excitement when an orc chieftain caught you out oh my god adrenaline rush but I almost was realizing that it's like well, I'm not getting anywhere in this game because I was so distracted that I didn't even follow the main plot for like three four hours so that's my number one game. I really love it. I'm a big fan of it, but I am going to play a whole lot more Dragon Age. So we're going to tally those up, and when I say we, I mean me. So guys, <laughs> I'm going to go from the start again and just quickly say your most disappointing game for 2014 and why. Same order, starting with you, Brad. Uh, it's, it's going to be Assassin's Creed. Um, that's yeah. my most disappointing title. Um, not because the game is fundamentally bad. Assassin's Creed is... 
It's a, it's a fun game. Exploration's cool. The combat's pretty sweet. But um, I think it's pretty disappointing in the next generation of, of games, next-gen consoles, that you have a title that's locked at 900... Um, 900... Uh, bloody, 10, it's 900p, and it's 30 mm. frames a second, and that's, like, the best they could get that game to do. Like, that's not cool. That's... I think it's 1080p, 60 frames a second, no excuse. That's it. That's next generation. That's what you do. Um, plus, it was buggy on the P- PS4, really hardcore, and y- your frames would drop to like 20 seconds if you run into a crowd. Plus, all those other problems, like I have it on my computer, couldn't even get it to run. Could not get it to run for like two and a half weeks until the patch. Terrible. Oh. Simple. So, like, there's no excuse for that. Like, yeah, it's just bad. All right. Next. Oh, was that me? Uh, Maddie? Yeah. Um, are we allowed to say two, or is it only one? Uh, yeah, say two, but smash them okay. out. Okay, quickly, out. So, I don't know if you guys have played it, but The Forest, there was oh, a yeah. huge um, build-up for The Forest on, like, Imgur and, like, Reddit. Everyone was, like, obsessed with this game, but when I actually played it, it was crap, like, building your own little huts and stuff, and then cannibals just eating you. I, like, didn't find it fun, like, at all. I was like, this is the most boring thing ever. I have heard that they've patched it. They patched yeah. it, like, last week or the week before that, and apparently it's much better now. Um, but I just was like, this isn't fun. This doesn't live up to the hype. Um, but my number one disappointing game is Destiny. I was, yeah, honestly, wow. they had, like, the biggest advertising campaign. Like, they had the, do you remember the ads on the TV? Like, the live action ads? Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. like this game looks so fucking cool. Like, it's like Star Wars, but in real life. Like, I was so, so excited. <laughs> and I it. it was like, oh, this is really grindy and boring, and there's no real like, difference between the class system, like they said in the, like, they oh my God, didn't I know. The, like, it didn't live up to the, to the advert, like, you know, we made it seem like they were all, like, really different, but they weren't, and I was like, oh, well, this sucks, so, Destiny's mine. <laughs> uh, I think that's me now, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, cool, yeah, I kind of, I'm going to, like, on a little note down the bottom there, say that my second Worst game of 2014 was definitely Destiny. Like, at the very beginning, for about the first month of gameplay, you really overlook a lot of those minuscule features that just are shit. But then once you've gotten over the hype and you've done the same thing 27 times in a week, then you really start to identify even more bad things that go alongside with those little things that you notice at the beginning but you kind of just ignored. Um, But my... Most uh, disappointing game of uh, 2014 is Halo Collector's Edition. Oh, there it is again. Um, the main reason behind this was because it took them a month for that gameplay to be able to be functional in, in multiplayer, um, which is the main reason why a lot of people bought it. It has Halo 1 to 4 campaign, but if you've already played that, sure, it's really good actually going through. Um, on the new HD graphics, especially for like Halo 1, which was already done in Anniversary. Halo 2 is really good, and Halo 3, awesome. Um, multiplayer is so buggy. And one of the most painful things, like it takes you about 20 to 30 minutes to find a game at some days, but here's the camera, and here's the analog stick. It's... Ooh. Oh. That drives me up the Delay, fucking wall. Huh? I'm sorry. That is just so infuriating. And I don't know what's actually generating that lag, whether it is the servers or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure we have Australian servers at the moment, don't we? Is that a thing? Is that what happened? We've got Australian well, servers for a heap of games. <laughs> Filtering through the archive that is my brain, but I think I heard somewhere <laughs> along the lines that there was Australian servers, but even then, it's just like, it's filthy. And I wanted... I wanted to go back and have the um, 16 player, four Xboxes hooked up, system link in a garage, confined spaces. Yeah. That gives hamburger sweats and uh, 16 <laughs> hours without sleep. Like, I wanted that again, and um, I think I played it for about 10, 15 hours, and about 10 of those hours is waiting in the lobby. Yeah, right. And, and yeah. install. When I when I chucked the game on, it had the 45 gigabyte install, which was the disc, and then it had a 15 gigabyte patch because I got it a month after it's released, and that patch was filthy. Hey, I'm just kind of having a thought here. No one's mentioned Titanfall. Is it because it was released at the beginning of the year and it just... Uh, Titanfall was good. 
I like Titanfall. Yeah, but like no one. It's like forgotten. Titanfall wasn't great and it wasn't bad. It was a new IP that did really well. That's why Call of Duty stole the jetpacks. <laughs> um, but it was good. <laughs> I liked it. That was okay. good. That's a new I, kind of, I kind of want to change my third answer from threes because it's mobile gaming, so it's cheating a little bit. So I'm going to say Wolf Among Us. Still, anyway, um, but we've got uh, the tally in for the most anticipated. I mean, the the best game, the game of the year. Whew. I didn't say my most disappointing game. Oh, Shona, your most disappointing <laughs> game, please. No. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, my most disappointing moment. <laughs> um, for me, it's Watch Dogs. So yeah. I was super yeah. hyped for this game like last year, and then it got delayed and pushed back. And I don't know, like, part of it was the delay and my excitement started going down a bit. And then it was getting kind of average reviews. And then I was busy when it first came out. So I didn't get a copy. And I thought, oh, that's fine. Like, I'll get it on sale. And then I played some at a friend's house. And I don't know, it was just kind of boring. <laughs> I'm like, not going to get it on fun. sale now. <laughs> yeah, like, I had fun running around and, you know, like, just... Being yeah. a troll and being, yeah, but the actual story part and all that just, I don't know, didn't do it for me. So, yeah, I haven't gone on and gotten it yet. You just feel nothing for so, Aiden Pierce. There's like this yeah, kind of thing where you've got yeah. to rescue his nephew, but you just don't care. I mean, a game that did that very, very well was Heavy Rain. So if they wanted to make a compelling story play, they should have combined that sort of gameplay and that, that thriller aspect with Hacking? Yeah, that's what was missing. The thriller. That's what I was mm. excited about. Yeah. I've uh, got a couple of tweets coming in. Uh, one from, oh, bless me, but Kathy Gash. Kathy Gash says that Destiny, Unity, and Evil Within are the best games. Uh, Jason Sarden said, you know what? Shadow of Mordor was my number two game until Dragon Age Inquisition came out, of course. Uh, Naked Fairy said Destiny was getting better before DLC, and then it became total crap. DLC killed it for me. But AC, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, will take the number one spot as worst game this year. Too many bugs, very poor gameplay. It just sucked. Um, <laughs> and then someone's also wanting to know where that uh, FIFA screenshot is. I will hunt it down and post it on the Twitter. Are you guys ready to hear what you guys voted as the number one game? Yes. This is the yes. Award. A quick Brad, uh, Brad left because he knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he's out. Well, bugger him. Because uh, uh, from our tallies that we have, there were a lot of different number one games, which is why there is no second or third place. <laughs> but there was a clear number one. So the next best was three, which is just one first place game. Dragon Age Inquisition got a whopping 12. Four yes! times the next best place. Double wow. digits. Wow. So, uh, the official game of the year for Geek Bomb is Dragon Age Inquisition. The official game that you guys voted for. I'm going to read the top 10 votes. Coming in at number 10 was Hearthstone. Some of you are loving that one. At number 9, The Wolf Among Us. Number 8, Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. I mean, at number seven, a game that hasn't been mentioned this whole time, Alien. I mean, obviously, mm. that one was good, but it came off the back of a really bad one. So, I mean, it was, like, too late, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U coming in at number six. Number five is South Park, uh, which was apparently a very, very funny game. I just stopped watching South Park about, uh -huh. I'll date myself, but 15 years ago. <laughs> It's hilarious. Oh, no. It's a good game. How old are you? Five or? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 I picked it. Yeah. Well done. That was so <laughs> spy. I have a favourite, guys. She's my favourite. Uh, oh, coming shit. in at number four was Destiny. Number three, Grand Theft Auto V. Because hmm. it got put for the um, now the current gen. Coming in at number two... Shadow of Mordor. <laughs> Come on, home run. Do and it. there is nine votes between it, between Shadow of Mordor and 
Dragon Age yes. Inquisition. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Number one. I didn't nine know what votes. Nine to vote for it, but yeah, well done. There was mm-hmm. nine votes between them. A big shout out to James who has been um, popping in. He found the Q and A box and wants to say a few fun things like Heavy Rain is one of my favorite games ever. Um, also, uh, they're saying Ground Zeroes. Anyone? A couple of people in the wow. chat talking about Ground Zeroes. Um, also talking about the f bombs being dropped. Making a comment. <sighs> How many did we drop? Like one. <laughs> You oh. said one, I said two. This little fucking did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. You were getting really passionate on. Oh, what was it? Snape. Oh, <laughs> oh, <I can't> <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, Shona made a great suggestion, and that is, guys, do we quickly want to do another round robin? And I, I want to hear some tweets as well at Geek Bombshells. What is your most anticipated game for 2015? Shona, since you recommended that one, did you want to go first with that? Absolutely. For me, it's Witcher 3. Yes. So I'm so sad it just got pushed back as well. It was meant to come out in February, and now it's been delayed again. But so excited for it. Can't wait. Alrighty, Nate, most anticipated game, 2015. Uh, my most anticipated game, I'm going to say, just from like the game demos and stuff that I've seen, is The Division. I really want to see how that plays out. Uh, Tom Clancy game, it's looking like it's going to be a massive online game, um, and hopefully it's not broken, because games of 2014 have now been proven to be a bit buggy, so let's hope that's yeah. fixed. And Ubisoft is pretty touchy. Excuse me, touch and go. No Far Cry 4 mention either. Uh, I haven't played it. Yeah. It's too much like Far Cry 3. Yeah. Ooh, Thanks shots fired. Um, Maddie, good. most uh, anticipated game? For me, uh, definitely Overwatch is my most anticipated game. Um, that's Blizzard's new first person shooter franchise, which is coming out next year, I think. Anticipated. Um, <laughs> I played it when I was at BlizzCon, uh, and it's. Just, it's kind of like Team Fortress, but better and amazing. I can't wait for it. It's so great. I have a little post on my wall right there about it. Hey, I'm just hey. literally so excited for it. Yeah. Brad, most anticipated game? Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here. All right? I'm gonna, Ooh. Not only am I going to give you my most anticipated, I'm going to give you the top three games of next year. And oh, we're going oh, 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 yeah. to watch this in the year. We're going to watch this in the year's time and see how right I was. I'm going to be right. Um, Roll up your sleeves. You're about to drop a bomb. Yes. Number one is my most anticipated and will be the best game of next year, and that's The Witcher 3 mm, by yep. far. Uh-huh. Number two is Evolve from Turtle Rock oh. Studios. Oh, yeah. Guys. Yes. Those guys made Left 4 Dead 2. That, that game mm. is timeless. People are still playing Left 4 Dead 2 day, day mm. in, day out. Um, and that's not only a developer, like, they've only got like 75 guys working on that game, by the way, and they're not, they're not owned by anyone, so that game is going to be really good. Anyway, and my third, and this is um, it's more of a personal preference, but I'm going to go out on a limb, I'm going to say Hotline Miami 2. Hotline Miami 2 Whey! is going to be awesome. <laughs> I think just there's, there's one you're forgetting. There's also a new Zelda coming out next year, or supposedly next oh. year. <laughs> I reckon that's going to be up there. I just don't have a Wii anymore. Yeah, I don't have a Wii well, I used to have so much hate. I had two Wiis, <laughs> and now I've got none. Well, they released a little gameplay video. It sort of, I don't know, went was fairly quiet yeah, just right. recently, but it's showing a massive overworld. Like They're talking like maybe it would be as big as Skyrim or something, yeah. so... Fingers crossed, but it's not my number one just because we don't know too much about it yet. But, okay. Technically, I think Blood, I think Bloodborne's going to be a huge title next year too. I think if I put that in there, I think Bloodborne's going to be really, really okay. popular. Yeah. Um, my number most anticipated because we're all saying Witcher three, which is true, and yeah. Lee also tweeting in saying Witcher three for her as well. Mm. Uh, but I'm with uh, Nicholas Lara Brain who says Arkham Knight. I got hands on with Batman oh, Arkham yeah. Knight. Yeah. At E3, and uh, basically the Batmobile is literally that. It's mobile, and you can control it, not being in it. Uh, it's awesome. I love that one. Uh, they're also looking forward to Phantom Pain, and he says, love you more, Garrett. Oh, you didn't have to read it. That's not 2015, is it? 
That's now. <laughs> he loves you now, not next year. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Veterinary also says, which is uh, at Havelock, uh, says, I hope that's right, or ha- Havelosh. Nah. Uh, Overwatch as well, uh, although I don't really expect anything next year because, hello, Blizzard. Uh, Sammy Mort says, hey, um, <laughs> oh, wait, it's talking about the Monopoly that we played a couple of years ago. Uh, Meg Frost, <laughs> ah, Winterfly, hello, says, agreed with everyone who voted Dragon Age is game of the year for sure. Um, and then Naked Fairy says, I bought a PS4 just for the next Hitman game. Woohoo! Alrighty. So that's our uh, most anticipated. Brad, I want to put that in writing. Pop it up on geekbomb.net because yeah. you've made a big call. Uh, so when we do this this time next year, <laughs> you can give me we'll a crown. See. I'm the best. We'll see how we go. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining in this game of the year. Unfortunately, uh, it was a little bit predictable, but if everyone's saying this is the best game, then play it, is my two cents. Mm. Uh, what was that, Nate? Was that you going, Amen, sister? <laughs> oh, man. Preach. Preach the <laughs> And that's exactly what I'm going to do right after this because I started the game today and I'm probably going to finish it by the weekend. Woo-hoo. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We are on Twitter, every single one of us. I'm at Maud Garrett. Uh, we've got sh- at Shona Adventures, at I'm not even going to bother with yours name. Don't you I mind. Just go. Life. I see I see <laughs> I hate you. Oh, sweet sister, <laughs> say. Um, at, at Ziana and at the Westy 21 Guys, we are on Twitter. Keep this discussion happening, and we'll see you again at 2015 when we're going to chat more games. This has been Gig Bomb, and... The bomb has been dropped. Hold on, Brad. Keep going.